Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will model this body and have a look at axis creation with intersection curve of two planes. All right, let's have a look at the body first. Front view, top view, left side view, and isometric. Okay, and I got this drawing here. We get pretty much all measurements here in the top view. And I create an auxiliary view here with that angle 24 and the thickness of the plate and the cylinder. Maybe you want to take a screenshot of that to model along. I'll take that over here and start a new part studio. So I start on the top plane with a center rectangle. Dimension that with those 122. We can have a look from the top. And normal to the plane. That is 64, that measurement. And... Um, Let's go into the sketch fillet, pick those four corners, accept that, and the fillet is six millimeters. Okay, those points will help us with the whole feature later on. Okay, so I will... Um, a solid region extrude of five millimeters. And I always like to give some distinctive color here. Maybe that. And now we will have a look at that brand new feature function, thin feature. I think it came out today really. So I will start a sketch on that top plane and I got an inside diameter of 24 millimeters. I didn't catch that uh, coincident relationship. And Let's see what happens in the thin feature here. Extrude, and there. That is, that wasn't there yesterday. Take that. Pick that circle, and now you can, without any outside circle, any offset circle, you can define the extrude. So that'll be a three millimeter thickness. And the height will be 22. All right. Keep that visible. And that very same circle we can use once more to remove the bottom, but now with the solid depth 25 or wall. We could, um, through wall, we could define like that. And that is that. All right, so pretty neat, right, with that thin feature. So now, let's see. In, in Onshape, we don't have an axis creation feature here. We can use any edge, really, or... Um, but um, I'll show you one way of uh, creating with a curve tool, with that intersection curve. Um, uh, an axis. So we want to define that axis here in the center. And I'll pick the front plane for group one, switch to group two, go to right, accept that, and there we have that axis. All right, and then we go into the, the plane feature, 
take that, take the front plane, apply those 30 degrees from the drawing, accept that, and start a sketch on that plane. Press N so we know the normal um, we draw that, we um, use that um, plane, that intersection of our plane with that surface here, take that one as well, then um, make that endpoint coincident here, give those 24 degree measurement there, um, connect that with uh, that line and, and apply that dimension again to our axis of 48. Fully defined sketch, accept that, go into extrude, take that region, make it symmetric. The depth of that is six millimeters. Symmetric. Okay, there it is. Okay, I think we can hide our curve here, our axis. Hide that sketch. Ah, and now, um, well, we can mirror that feature over the front plane. And then once more, feature of the extrude and the mirror across the right plane. That is that. Now what's left are those holes and for that we can use um, those points in our first sketch. So go into hole. Okay I got that simple through six millimeters and I just pick those sketch points. Accept that, hide that sketch, have a last look at that, and that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.